Hello, my name is Brandon, and welcome to Retro Reactions, a place where I experience amazing music from the 70s, 80s, and 90s for the very first time. And today we're going to be traveling all the way back to 1971 and 1973 to listen to Witchwood, Down by the Sea, and The River by English rock band Straubs. And we'll start with Witchwood, comes from From the Witchwood, their third studio album, which reached number 39 in the UK and was the last full album to include member Rick Wakeman. Anyway, if you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button as well as the notification bell to join the Retro Reactions community where it's all amazing music all the time. And a reminder to check out my Patreon page with exclusive reactions not found here on YouTube, no time error restrictions, and one full album reaction every month. Link is in the description below. All right, here we go. variety of instruments being used on this song on this whole album you know i looked up the personnel list many interesting instruments that it really excites me when i see that with a band you know they think outside the box they choose these not typical instruments to make the song that much richer stand out that much more unfortunately i couldn't tell who was singing in this one i read that there's four lead vocalists on this album wow interesting so whoever it was maybe it was dave cousins really enjoyed it a very 70s voice um, it was processed very 70s like 
just incredible. I loved all the folk vibes going on in this one. I loved all the stringed instrument melodies happening all around me. Just beautiful. This one felt like a wise old tale was being shared. It felt like such an old song from a distant time long ago. Very uh, solemn, but very magical. Excellent harmonies going on as well. It felt very 70s throughout a lot of the song. Very Simon and Garfunkel-ish. But then it also felt like it was from hundreds of years ago. Wow. Again, a very transportive song. I really zoned in on the stringed instrument on the right. Not sure what it was. I'm thinking the dulcimer or the auto harp. Just beautiful. Again, made the song that much better. All the instruments they chose also gave it that, you know, way, way back feeling. Not really sure the lyrics on this one yet, but the whole song felt like, you know, one of those songs carrying the weight and the sorrow of many generations. One of those traditional songs that's passed down from generation to generation. Really incredible. A great start, Straubs. This one's getting five golden records, an A score for Witchwood by Straubs, 1971. All right, now we'll check out Down by the Sea and the River. They're tracks four and five from Bursting at the Seams, their fifth studio album, which reached number two in the UK and contains their two most successful singles, Part of the Union and Lay Down. Interestingly, the order of these two songs were switched for the 1998 CD, but I'm going to hear them in their original album order. Here we go. <laughs> Last night I lay in bed and held my 
Progressive. Rather like the sailor, my own arms around these. I'm not sure I know me. If you knew me, what would you do? Don't tell me I don't need you to. It won't help me now. If you were me, what would you do? Tell me I don't need you to You won't help me now Such an interesting song that caught me off guard several times. The opening, you know, we get the guitar melody, the heavy guitar melody. Sounded heavy metal to me, sounded 80s metal to me. I wrote, what's to come? No clue where we're headed. Wow. Then whoever was lead on this one came in. Really nice voice. So interesting how it was sung so softly, almost muffled in the back. I would love to know why they chose to do that. Wow. Just fit that guitar perfectly. But then we get a full-on rock turn in the song. Seems like a completely different song. This one's definitely a multiple personality type of song. And that's what caught me off guard again a few times. In that rock section, uh, the lead singer definitely had shades of Fish, Peter Gabriel, and Phil Collins going on. At least in my mind. I wonder which combinations of those maybe inspired each other. They were all happening, you know, around the same time. So that was interesting. Uh, I believe I heard the Mellotron here sounding glorious, full, rich, amazing, and striking as always. And then that 80s metal electric guitar riff came back, but not for long. No, the orchestra comes in to hijack the rest of the song. I love how they started building layers and layers Definitely heard a lot of strong timpani. Uh, The strings come in glorious. Big, huge brass. Wow. Huge drama overall. Pure and grand bliss for my soul. In that end coda, I felt triumph, passion, exuberance, conviction, and more. And then a super grand climactic ending. So appropriate. Wow. What a song. Yeah, that whole end section with the orchestra 
upped my score. It's getting five super shiny golden records, an A+, plus for Down by the Sea by Straubs, 1973. I made a sideways motion Turning a new leaf The single-minded miner's girl Was there to share my grief I shivered in the bitter wind Three times the cockerel crowed I waited for the river But the river did not flow As autumn turned to silver to turn to gold The weatherman said dress up Oh, but I did not feel the cold Kids waited with toboggans As I sheltered from the snow I waited for the river But the river did not flow Yeah, another great one. It really packed a punch for such a short song. Uh, more early Genesis vibes in this one. Strong Genesis vibes. Strong Peter, Phil vibes. Um, there were almost whispered vocals in this one. Really interesting. I have a feeling they have many shades to their vocal deliveries, especially with multiple lead vocalists that sing on their work. Wow. Wow. I bet they have a lot of experimentation overall in their work, just based on the three I heard today. And just like with Genesis, Straubs conveys such grand moods so expertly in these songs, you know. There's tons of passion and emotion here, packed into 2 minutes and 22 seconds. Definitely a top song moment was that trilled motif that was going on. I guess it was a recorder. I thought it was the flute, but the personnel list says it was a recorder. Happened a few times. Definitely a top song moment for me. Another great element were those up and down dynamics right at the end. You know, you think it's fading out. No, it comes back. Gets your soul. Really interesting choices here. That was something I don't hear too often in music. So again, really love that part. But overall, a great song for such a short song. And because it was so short, that might affect my rating. You know, if it was a long song, if they developed it further, who knows. But for now, I'm going to give it five golden records, an A score for The River by Straubs, 1973. And thank you so much for all three wonderful songs today. Dave Cousins, Tony Hooper, Rick Wakeman, John Ford, Richard Hudson, Dave Lambert, and Blue Weaver. All right, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below. If you wish to chat about these three songs, I would love to know what you think about them. So you take care, stay safe, stay hydrated, and remember to let peace, calm, and light into your day and night. And I'll see you next time in the past. Mm -hmm.